current projections are global average sea level rise will double by 2100. But that's only half of the story. Inland cities are equally under threat of extreme weather events. For example, in 2016, flooding in Paris and its region cost more than 1 billion euros. We are experiencing flood claims all over the world. It induces a lot of damage with thousands of people affected. Historically, many cities have been built either on coasts or rivers, just because they needed to be supplied with goods. It is very important for us to improve our knowledge about flood, to provide better information to our clients and to improve the resilience of the cities we are insuring. My AXA Research Fund project is about better forecasting of floods and flooding. We develop models and the, those models are the core of early warning systems. We get the data from the river gauges. Based on the river gauges data, we calibrate the model and the model will allow us to simulate the flood wave. So we can provide an early warning if we first calibrate the model based on stream flow data, on observed data. If you provide warning, the damage from the flood will be as small as possible. If we get the early warning system for people, for cities, for business, what do you think are the, the actions that they can take? Cities can build small walls around metro entrances. People can just move all their valuables upstairs. If their car is parked along the river, they can move their car. If I'm a farmer and my livestock is in low ground, I can move it. But all that, I cannot do it within a few minutes. Early warning systems provide what is the most valuable thing. It provides time. 